just now. I see nine o'clock on my. Oh. That ain't. Yep, we're live. Okay. Uh, are all of our commissioners on board? Scales is present. I'm here too. That's a quorum. By Commissioner Knight and Commissioner Tyson. That's all. Tyson was on earlier. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, Commissioner Knight. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Um, it's showing a little after nine o'clock. Good morning, Commissioner Tyson. Uh, I'd like to. Uh, reconvene the Jefferson County Commission meeting of December the 17th, 2020, and ask, is there any other business to transact out of that meeting? Hearing none, that meeting is now adjourned. Uh, Mr. DeLiberto, would you, uh, I'd like to call to order the January 7th meeting. Mr. DeLiberto, would you call the roll, please? Commissioner Ammons. Here. Commissioner Scales. Present. Commissioner Knight. Commissioner Tyson. Good morning. Commissioner Stevens. Good morning, we're here. Uh, I'd like to, for us to bow our heads for the invocation. Uh, I will lead us in an invocation and uh, uh, Commissioner Scales, would you lead us in the pledge please when I finish? Uh, let us bow our heads. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, your strength, and your guidance. And as we come to you as your servants, we pray for peace, unity, understanding, and most importantly, healing for our bodies and for our country. We ask that you give us the wisdom to choose the correct path and the courage to pursue it. Dear Lord, we ask that you keep us, your servants, safe and committed to serve you. We ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic, to the Republic for, which, for which it stands. One nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, 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 with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Thank you very much. Uh, Commissioner Knight, are you here? Yes, sir. All right. Let the record show that everyone is in attendance. Zoomed. Everyone is Zoomed, not doomed, but Zoomed. Uh, commissioners, you have before you the minutes from the uh, December the 17th meeting. Is there any um, additions, corrections, or revisions to those minutes? I'll move that we dispense the reading of the minutes and adopt them as written. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Commissioners, uh, there are no public hearings today, and that's going to be a challenge. We need to ask uh, our county attorney or Mr. Patel us when our next public hearings are. But uh, go ahead and follow the agenda. Uh, we have resolutions 1 through 26. Uh, is there any particular uh Resolution that a commissioner would like to pull for further consideration or vote. I'll move items one through 26. A uh, second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, moving down, we have one item of new business that's going to require unanimous consent. It's a resolution authorizing uh, the commission president. Uh, 
to execute a contract with the trustees of the University of Alabama uh, for services to benefit the state court system. I saw some uh, email this morning. Is that is that already funded? Yes. Okay, so all we need to do is execution. <clears throat> so, uh, do we have I'll anyone? Uh, consent. All I'll right. For unanimous uh, consent on one item. Second. We have a motion and a second for unanimous consent. Ms. DeLiberto, please call the roll. Commissioner Ammons? Yes. Commissioner Knight? Aye. Commissioner Scales? Yes. Commissioner Tyson? Yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Um, the resolution authorized Commissioner President to execute a contract uh, with the Board of Trustees University of Alabama for uh, to provide pre-trial relief services for the benefit of the state court system. Do we have an amount on that? $480,117. $480,117 that is budgeted. Yes. Okay. Uh, Chair will entertain a motion. Move the Move item. item. Have a motion, we have a second. second. Uh, all right, uh, Mr. DeLiberto. Commissioner Ammons? Yes. Commissioner Knight? Aye. Commissioner Scales? Yes. Commissioner Tyson? Yes. Commissioner Stevens? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, that brings us to the end of our agenda. Uh, Mr. Tellis, do you have anything you need to say? Yes, sir. Uh, County Attorney Lawson? No, sir. Okay. Commissioners, uh, Commissioner Scales. Nope, just want to encourage everyone to make sure that uh, we stay safe in whatever way that you communicate with your constituents, just to make sure we don't let our guards down and continue to keep everyone informed uh, in terms of where we are and where we need to be in order to make sure that we're on top of this virus. Uh, in addition to that, um, I would like to ask Mr. President, and to my colleagues that as we move forward, uh, that the, the meetings that um, are provided through the health department uh, that gives us updates in terms of vaccinations and those potentials that uh, we kind of keep people in, in the loop uh, in terms of when that may be available for the general public. Um, and lastly, obviously, uh, considering that, you know, some things happened in our country uh, on yesterday, I would just strongly encourage all of us to continue to work uh, on one accord and uh, make sure that we're keeping our employees safe and that all of our constituents understand that we're, we're working toward a common good for everyone involved. So that's all I have for today. Thank you very much. Commissioner Tosh. I'm good. Okay, Commissioner Knight. Um, the call-in number for vaccine information for the public is 205-858-1, uh, 858-2221. It's 205-858-2221. You can call this number to get information about when the vaccine is available, if, if they know. Um, and this is, this is run through the um, JIC at the EMA. They're, they're gonna have people staffing that phone. Um, we've had it up and running for two days. And so far they received 1,127 calls in just a short amount of time. So people are very interested in this. Um, hopefully we can, you know, Alabama is one of those states that are behind in getting the vaccines out and done um, and hopefully the um, Alabama Department of Public Health and the um, Jefferson County Department of Public Health can get these things moving a little quicker. If whatever whatever is slowing it down, hopefully we can get it moving quicker. Um, the vaccines will be administered in a, in a category. Um, uh, they're starting with the healthcare workers. Um, and the um, VA patients and the uh, uh, nursing home patients. And so, so far they're, 
they're they're still administering those so it's it's you know those of us that are on down the line we have to continue to be patient be vigilant and continue to do the things that we've been doing for the last 10 months to protect ourselves and our families and and until then and i agree with uh, commissioner scales um the, the, what happened yesterday in our nation's capital is just, um, it's saddening. It really is. Um, it's, it's this, we have to understand that these institutions belong to the people, the politicians. It's not about one person or one, one party. These, pe these institutions belong to the people and the sacred violation, the violation of that sacred capital building yesterday was just, uh, horrendous and you know it, it just makes you wonder how close we are to anarchy at times and so we can't uh, tolerate this um, and so I hope we can all start um, working in a, in a direction that we're working together instead of this bipolar electorate that we have now that's what I have to say thank you Commissioner Adams uh, Commissioner Knight and Scales, I agree with both of you. Um, it's very, very unfortunate and um, uh, one that we don't want to ever see repeated. Um, I would like to add uh, to Commissioner Knight's um, uh, telephone number for the call center. You can also go to alabamapublichealth.gov forward slash COVID-19 uh, for more information if you want to get it on your phone or your computer. Uh, but the, uh, the telephone call is also um, an excellent resource. Um, and so I hope everybody stays, uh, stays safe, safe and healthy. Uh, Thank you. Uh, President, I have the, uh, the statewide number is 800-270-7268. That's the statewide number. Repeat that if you don't mind. 800-270-7268. Uh, Okay, that's thank for you. statewide in case anyone that's out of Jefferson County is actually watching. All right. That's, that's great. And I appreciate that. Um, I want to thank county management staff, the county employees for working together and coordinating uh, these meetings and the way that we've been able to uh, act and react with our, with our citizenry. Um, Everything seems to be moving very, very smoothly in the county. And all of our employees, I want to wish them a happy new year and thank them for their engagement and what they do. And that we're working very hard to make sure all remain safe as we move forward. Uh, we want to continue to show Jefferson County as a leader in Alabama and the Southeast. And the way to do that is we lead by example. And this commission, I want to commend them. We have, each commission has a different personality. And now that we've learned everyone on this commission, we are working together and doing what's right for the citizens of Jefferson County. And I certainly do appreciate that. And I look forward to, to this coming year being better than the last and then the next year being better. So let's put our blinders on and let's, let's be forward looking. Let's pray. Let's pray unceasingly to make sure that our citizens remain safe and that we can work together for the good of our county, our state, and our country. And may God bless us and keep us safe from this COVID virus. That, if, if we can accomplish that, uh, I believe that everyone's quality of life will be better. With that being said, this meeting is recessed until further notice. Thank you very much.